Alright guys, it is a lovely summer evening here in the end times. I'm out here, me and my little dog, my little soulmate out here uh, on the deck of my <coughs> brand new little tiny house uh, sitting next to Dulcinea's chair. This was uh, going to be little Queen Dulcinea's chair here. And uh, it is a lovely evening. We have stumbled into Tuesday night. What is it? July 13th. July 13th. And uh, we are going to turn to the fourth biggest story on the planet. We have a Corona panic story, the fourth biggest story on the planet, according to Yahoo News, right now on the planet, from uh, the New York Times. The New York Times, with this update worthy of being the fourth biggest story on planet Earth, people are making out. People are making out everywhere. Yes, people are making out everywhere. So I guess they're calling this the summer 20 the summer of 2021 is the summer of lust. Yes. All right. On a Thursday afternoon in June, just days before the summer solstice, the scene in Hudson River Park looks straight out of a Thomas Cole painting. Bees and butterflies dancing in the air. Fucking bullshit. There wasn't a goddamn... Sure as shit wasn't a, a, a bee dancing around. Maybe a bee w w was fucking dancing around, you know, in the middle of colony collapse disorder, trying to find his fucking way back home through all the uh, neonics out there in the uh, in Hudson River Park. What is this crap? Bees and butterflies dancing in the air. The water sparkling in the distance. You know, the Hudson River water sparkling, you know, it's probably sparkling with a fucking uh, oil slick. Yeah, I like how they say that. It's less attractive parts smoothed out by the midday sun. Yes, plenty of couples were expressing their affection for each other. Isn't that cute? As if they had seen the tabloid photos of a lip-locked Benefer. I have no fucking clue what any of this means. Plenty of couples were expressing their affection. Yes, they were. As if they had seen the tabloid photos of a lip-locked Benefer as a sign that it, from the universe that being touchy, romantic, and happy in public was okay. Again. Yes, apparently Dulcinea has not seen the uh, tabloid photos of a lip-locked Benefer. Obviously Dulcinea did not see whatever the fuck I have no fucking clue who, what a Benefer is. A pair pressed their faces together beneath a tree, turning this way and that for selfies. Yes, a pair pressed their faces together. Mm-hmm. 
a few feet away, two bodies were intertwined on the ground, their heads hidden by a flannel shirt. Two others lay side by side, gazing up the limbs and leaves of a lush tree, brushing gypsy moth caterpillar shit out of their eyes. Yes. Oh, God. This is then they're interviewing somebody, Marisol De La Rosa, the managing partner of the Brass Monkey Bar. Yes. Quote, when we first reopened with restriction in April, there was still a lot of, how do we do this? Do we shake hands? Since then, restrictions have been erased. It's like a faucet has been turned on. The hesitation is gone. Everyone, this is still uh, Ms. Della Rosa, everyone is ki has kind of slightly lowered their standards or maybe opened up their idea of what they find attractive. She recently overheard a customer tell a friend, quote, I would make out with him before the pandemic. Probably not. Yes. Ugh, fuck. You have to live your life now, she said. People are full on swallowing each other's faces on Friday and Saturday night. People are full on swallowing each other's faces. The last time I was full on swallowing somebody's face, and you can all guess whose face it was, was I, I think in the uh, Carnegie Library parking lot at, uh, at 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, that would have been uh, right around Halloween of, uh, right around Halloween of 2019 in the uh, parking lot of the Carnegie Library, yes. Last time I swallowed anybody's face. Yes. That was the only thing that was swallowed in that, in, in my truck, okay? I assure you, nothing else was swallowed in that truck, but uh, Dulcinea went out of the truck with a smile on her face. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> anyway. The sick, twisted irony. Everybody is making out. Uh, when was the last time before then? That was, let's see, call it November 1st, 2019. The last time I swallowed anybody's face before then was February of 2018. I swallowed somebody's face in February of 2018. If any, if you were one of the 28 people on the planet who saw that video, that face swallowing video, uh, <laughs> that the most historic video on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, 28 of you got to see that before it was ripped out. So February of 2018, I swallowed a face. November of 2019, I swallowed a face. I have no fucking idea. Uh, there is no, nowhere remotely on my radar 
do I have face swallowing. But uh, you know how life turns on a dime. So I guess uh, my little soulmate, my little face swallowing soulmate has taken Dulcinea's chair. Anyway, get out there and swallow somebody's face while you still can before they come up with his next fucking uh, whatever reason to uh, put a mask on. It's hard to f swallow someone's face when you're both wearing a mask. I do agree with that. Not much face swallowing going on. Everyone with a mask. Bye, guys, and you non-face swallowing ladies.